Hello out there, my name is Benjamin and welcome back to Blabend Solution. In this video, I'm going to show you six typed keyboard shortcut that you probably didn't know about and this is coming up shortly. If this is your first time at Blabend Solutions, please note that we are into the production of graphic design video tutorials. And if you think videos of such nature will be of great benefit to you, then I encourage you to click on the subscribe button, like, and make sure to check the notification bell to all so as to be the first person to be notified whenever we release our new videos. Also, we provide graphic design services on Fiverr. Do all to check the description below for the link. If you see anything that you think you like, please do all to like the video as well. And let me know in the comment box below what that thing was with this being said and done let's quickly jump right into photoshop and let's begin so the first thing we will be looking at is to how to resize our text how to resize the font size of our text so we have our text layer in here so what we're going to do now is to select the text by pressing ctrl a what i did was i, I selected my type to click in here and had my control press control a to select my text now you can easily select your text by double tapping this layer in here and your text will be selected now the shortcut key is to hold your control plus shift key and use the greater than or the less than symbol on your keyboard to either increase the size to get this size as huge as it is or use the less than symbol to reduce the size of the text so that is it let's move on to our second tip now in here we are going to learn how to change the text to capital case by the shortcut key of doing this is first of all we need to select our text by double tapping the layer in here so we are going to change this to um, caps so hold your control shift and press k on your keyboard and automatically it turns this text to caps so that you there you have it control shift plus k and this will be turned to caps and the same way we do this it will turn it to small k so let's use this one double tap on this and let's press control shift k and our text is back to our small case in here we are going to learn how to make this text as they are so the shortcut key for making this bold for making this italic and for making this underline so let's go on and click our first text make sure we select the text itself so double tap this layer in here hold your control plus your shift key and press b to make this text bold and there you have it we've successfully made this bold and same way how can we make this italic double tap this by selecting the entire text that we have hold your control plus shift key and press i and we've successfully made this italic same way we're going to do for the underline press control shift plus u and this makes it underline all right so in this next one you would realize that we let's, let's see something from in here you realize that we have made use of all almost all the items in here okay now how do we reset these items back to normal what we have to do is make sure we select our text select all the text that we have there and hold your control plus shift and hit y on your keyboard and automatically we have all the items reset to the default type that it, as it was before we applied the format so there you have it so it was this way and now it's this way good now in this we would be changing the foreground or we, we are going to change the text fill to take that of the foreground okay and to do that hold the alt key on your keyboard and hit the backspace and automatically we've been able to 
apply the foreground color to the text and same way we can apply the background color to the text this one hold your control key and press backspace and we've been able to apply the background color to our text so to apply the foreground color to your text hold the alt key and press backspace to apply the background color hold the uh, uh, control key and press backspace all right this one you would notice that when i select my type 2 i have two type things in here now i want to type in between these two items or two text but anytime i try to type here look at what happens it has picked this text and wants to edit it that is not what i want so how am i able to how will i be able to do that or how would i be able to type in here so this is what you do anytime you select your type to make sure you see the cursor is turned to a single bar now hold your shift key and see what happens and now you can click in here and you can type so let me change the font to something moderate now good and now i can type anything let's say great is that and there you have it i'm now able to type in here all right guys so this brings us to the end of today's photoshop tips and tricks if you learned something in here please do all to hit on the subscribe button and uh, like share and put down your comment in the comment box below i am benjamin and thank you so much for sticking around right from the beginning to the end i look forward to seeing you once again in our next photoshop tips and tricks bye